All right, we're here and we just got a chance to meet you and the work you're doing is absolutely incredible. Thank you. Um, this community doesn't have power right now. Nope. Uh, why do you do this? Why do you use your business to make no money but to help you? Amen. It's my home. These are my people. And even though, like, they're like, we're all like brothers and sisters here. We fight like brothers and sisters and we take care of one another like brothers and sisters. You know, like, it's just what it is. We're, we're a small, close knit community and it just, that's what we do. That's what we do. What else can we do to help? We're here. You got an army of Jesus loving men behind you. Man. We want to come back and we want to help more. What else do you need? Uh, everything. I mean, I, we need sheets. We need towels. We need wash racks. We need, and like clean, brand new. I hate to be sounding picky in a time like this, but people want clean underwear. You know, they don't want someone to use underwear. So socks, um, we need tire plug kits, extension cords, um, trash bags, rakes, shovels, brooms, mops. Um, Cause everybody's at a different stage. You know what I mean? Not everybody got totally washed away. Some people might've only like, for instance, got their roof a little bit blown off. So they may need just a sheet of a tin and a couple of one buys and they can put it on there themselves and, and they're done. You know what I mean? Like. Some of this stuff, I don't feel like we need to go through the whole rigmarole of here's your name, here's your, you know, all that. When if I can supply it, they can do their own work. Let's let them do it so they can get back to as close to normal as they can to the town's back together and the electricity's back on. Another thing, you got people that's going to be without jobs around here. Every business in town is shut down that if they were flooded. I'm like, me, Kathy's Crabs. We're about the only ones that are standing. And so like CHAG, for instance, they are our largest employer. So is the school, don't have either. These people need jobs. So that would be one thing I would say, if you got a crew and you're paying, let's hire some of these local boys around here and women that can, that's willing to work. And you know, because maybe their home's not destroyed, but they don't have income. And there's people that, they, that would be willing to work. So I would say hire locally. Amen. So. Amen. And um, can we pray with you? Absolutely. Can you guys lay hands, please? And on behalf of our foundation, our ministry, and everything that God has blessed us with, we just we just declare um, the power of Jesus over this community. We 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 declare power over you, strength over you, uh, anointing over you, uh, that you can continue to be a leader in this community uh, with the spirit of Esther. And we just hope that everybody comes around you and uplifts you. When yes. someone hears this prayer, God sends someone here uh, to help fulfill all these needs. And yeah, we just hallelujah. claim the name of Jesus. We praise you even in hard times. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank Glory to God. Let me take Glory one picture with this. Yeah. Oh, nice.